Let's start with the problem that we're solving. Half the world has an internet connection at home. Great, but that means that half the world, four billion people, do not. For the past two decades, wireless has replaced the need for telephone lines. For a simple reason, economics. It's cheaper and easier to get a wireless signal into a home than build a landline. But this has not been the case for broadband lines because of speeds. Now, 5G wireless is fast enough to support broadband internet. It too will replace the need for expensive new lines to be constructed to homes. It's more affordable to bring internet to those that don't have it today, and it will allow competition for those that do using wireless. Wireless network creation is a big business and is about to get even bigger. Today, more than 200 billion is spent each year by wireless operators and internet providers to connect users and things to the internet. But we need more investment, more sites, more equipment. To connect the rest of the world with internet using 5G, millions of access points need to be built. Introducing Airwaves Tokenomics, which has been designed to encourage an ecosystem of network creators, operators, and investors to build the last mile internet using wireless. The last mile is a term used to describe the connection between the user and their internet service provider. Before we get into the details, let's highlight three principles of the tokenomics. Principle number one, it's decentralized. Unlike a planned network, local network creators determine the need for service. Principle number two, it's sustainable. Because this model is built on real world use cases, which is providing internet service, there is recurring cash flow from operators to support the token and its price. Principle number three, it's market driven. Not every location around the world is equal. For example, property values differ by location. As a result, marketplaces are used to determine supply and demand for network creation in the airway token model. Next, we'll dive into the details of the tokenomics starting with this high-level diagram. I'll describe the components in more detail, but let's start first with the DAO in the middle. The DAO is a distributed autonomous organization and it's at the heart of the model. Now I'll define the components beginning with the network operator. The operator can be anyone, from individuals to organizations that has the responsibility of providing internet service to users. Broadband wireless often needs dedicated wireless frequencies, which are licensed to organizations, but not always. This token model can support operators with both licensed and unlicensed wireless rights. The benefits for operators? Utilizing a decentralized network model allows an operator to scale quickly and with much lower capital. Now in the Airwave model, operators set contracts using marketplaces. Network creators are involved in the creation of a local network. This starts with a property owner, also called a host, and includes installers, equipment providers, and backhaul ISPs. Creators benefit from new sources of income, mining tokens for providing internet service to users. A verification oracle is a trusted source to confirm that users are truly connected to the internet, known as proof of connectivity. These oracles benefit from mining tokens as re rewards for their work. Lastly, the Airwave tokenomics has separated the role of the network investor. While it can be an operator or creator, it can also be a third party that invests in the products and services to create a local network. The benefits for an investor is to fund the network and receive future rewards by sharing tokens with the creators who mine them. Let's run through two examples to explain the model. In example one, a network creator builds a local network. This could be a property owner that fulfills the demand for a wireless operator by purchasing equipment and installing it on his or her property. The operator has the responsibility of managing their wireless network and the relationship with each of the users that now receive internet service. The DAO manages contracts on behalf of the operator, which are recurring payments to network creators. These contracts are tokenized. 
Verification oracles confirm user connectivity, and then mined tokens are released to network creators. In example two, the difference now is the introduction of a third party investor. This investor could be in, in a different country than the operator or creator, but has interest to fund a local network in return for future rewards. A marketplace pairs investors and creators and sets how the rewards are shared. This example is nearly identical to the first one. The operator manages their network, oracles confirm proof of connectivity, and creators mine tokens. But now, an investor shares tokens with a creator based on agreed upon rates in the contract. The DAO has several functions. As described earlier, marketplaces are used to set contracts between operators, creators, and investors. The DAO manages these contracts. It includes a liquidity pool taking funds from operators and investors and storing it in stablecoin. This is then tokenized to an airwave token that can be mined. The DAO also includes a treasury to store the fees that it collects. The fees collected by the treasury are generated from network participation for managing and validating contracts, and also for trading fees in the liquidity pool. The airwave token may be staked to participate in the rewards distributed by the treasury. For more information, please visit our website or subscribe to one of our social channels.